weekend, you have no work. You're just at home and currently curled up in your bed. This is scrolling your phone. Boring. Should I order pizza? I will ask mom. You get up from bed and went out of your room and went downstairs. Wow, smells good. What's that, mom? Baked lasagna. How did you know that I'm hungry? Mother knows best. Can I have some? Of course. Eat until your stomach explodes. While eating, your phone buzz. A smile crept into your face because the caller was your best friend, Akita. Hi, bestie. You said at the same time, turn on the speaker of your phone. Can you spend night here? Asked Akita, your best friend since grade school. Why? Is something wrong? Nothing. My brother is leaving. He will be back tomorrow evening. I will be left here alone with the guards home I don't know. Are you sure your grumpy brother is leaving? You know him, he doesn't want us to make any noise in his mansion. As I told you, he will leave later for a mission. I will ask mom first. I heard you too. Just go. Thanks, mom. Okay, I'll be there for about one hour. You get out of the cab and rang the doorbell. In a second, the big gate opened when two guards let you in. You're walking going to the main door when you spotted Junko, the mafia boss and also the guy who had his monthly parcel every day because he, he was always frowning and easily got mad. Good afternoon, Akita sent me here. He didn't even let you finish your words. He signaled you to just get inside. You bowed at him and went inside. Upon turning around, Jungkook just stared at your back from head to toe. You're only wearing shorts since you and Akita won't go out, you just stay at home. You will never forget, you were in 6th grade the last time you played with Jungkook. He is a funny, playful kid. You always play together with Akita. He often becomes your model when you play Barbie dolls, fixing his hair, putting on makeup. But even once, he never get mad at you and his twin. Junko and Akita were twins, so just older than Akita. You live in the same neighborhood, so every day, you go to school and play together. Summer vacation, Akita was crying while pulling you out of your house. She said her brother and dad is leaving. As you saw, Junko got into a black car, but before he got in, he looked at you and smiled. Their dad hugged and kissed her. Akita entered the car for a while, then you saw the two siblings hug each other. Then they left, followed by ten cars. You don't understand anything, especially you, on that time. After that day, you never saw Jungkook again. For your high school, you found out the reason why Jungkook and his dad left. Because both of their parents got divorced. Their mom divorced their dad after finding out that he is a mafia. After you and Akita graduated from college and already had a job, her mom remarried again to a Japanese. Akita didn't want to go to Japan, so she decided to stay. Then 10 months ago, Jungkook suddenly came back and took Akita with him. When you saw him again, you really got starstruck. His handsomeness and hotness really made your jaw drop. He was so cool. He was the type of person who everybody's crush. You greeted him, but he just ignored you. It's sad to think that the funny and playful kid disappeared. He became grumpy, cold, always mad. So instead of falling for him, you tried to move on. It's funny to think that you fell in love at first sight with your best friend's twin after meeting him again.
you and Akita were in the living room, laughing nonstop while looking at Jungkook's picture. Akita still have this picture when he was your model before. Later on, he went downstairs, wearing a leather jacket, and the smells of his perfume could be smells all over the house, and it smells really good. He looked at the both of you suspiciously after you both suddenly stopped laughing and hide something on your back. What is it? You two shook your head. I know that looks. You're hiding something. What is it? You shook your head again until he walked towards to your direction. Then Akita suddenly ran. In your panic, you also ran. But instead of going to Akita's room, you ran to the pool area. You ran to the pool area. Unfortunately, you slipped and about to fell onto the water. Good thing he caught your one arm. You are currently floating in mid-air, and if Jungkook ever lets go of your hand, you will directly fall into the water. You will tell me, or I will let go of your arm. La Barbie, don't dare to let me go off. My legs will get scratched. As you can see, it's a flawless. I don't care. Tell me, why are you two laughing? N nothing. We're just crazy. That's why we're laughing. Last chance. Why you two were laughing? I said nothing. Why? He said and smirked. At the same time, let's go off your hand. Akita heard a loud splash of water in her room. She peeked on the balcony and screams, Bestie! Jungkook just left without looking back and just completely ignore you. When he heard Akita's screams again, he looked behind and there he saw you drowning. Without a second thought, Jungkook jumped on the pool to save you. He quickly picks you from the water and now you are on his arms. He wondered why you laugh instead of getting angry at what he did. You tap his face and get down as you realize that the water level is below to your waistline. So how can you drown in such shallow water? He mentally blocks, seeing himself wet. After two hours of preparation, he will only get wet after you pranking him. Yeah! You turn your head. Then you go back again and took something from your pocket and gave it to him. Look, it's wet. I was supposed to give this to you. What's that? Sanitary pad? I know you have your monthly period every day. That's why you are mad at the world. You said, and give the sanitary pad to him and left the water while Akita was laughing nonstop on the balcony. Around 3 p.m., Junko came out from his room. Again, he was wearing a black clothes and cap. Aki, if ever you want to leave, be sure my men are with you. Don't worry, Opa. We were just staying here. Good, I'm going. He ignored you and just stepped out of the house. You're doing really giving me chills. What do we do now? I don't know. Hold on. I show you something. You were amazed at what you saw. Your brother really has a wine storage room? You want us to taste this wine? I'm sure she won't notice if we drink one of these thousands of wine. You look at each other and wiggles your bows. And since all you know that Jungkook is coming home tomorrow, you have a drinking session. 12 midnight, Jungkook came home since their mission got cancelled. He looked for you but couldn't find you two. One of the maids told him that you two were in the underground. Jungkook just scratched his head when he saw you and Akita sleeping on the floor hugging an empty bottle of wine. 
Jungle picked up Akita to take her to her room. Boss, shall I hear Ms. YM? Doro asked. No, just watch her. I will deal with that crazy girl after I take Akita to her room. After Jungkook brought his sister to her room, he returned to you. He just sighed, seeing you sleeping on the floor while hugging the bottle of wine. He removed the bottle, but you tried to take it. That's mine, you mentioned. No one said it's mine. Just give it to me. What are you going to do with that bottle? He said. You heard Duro laugh, probably because he was talking to a drunk woman. Let me have that! He snatched the bottle and put it on the table before picking you from the ground. But you suddenly grabbed his hair and pulled it. Where's my boyfriend? You give that my boyfriend! YN, I'm trying to be patient so before I will feed you to bomb, let me go! You're unresponsive as he saw you go back to his sleep. This is the first time he saw you drunk. And to be honest, he's not ready for this. In his annoyance for grabbing his hair, he'll throw you on the bed and rock you in the blanket like spring rolls and laugh. He didn't even realize that he was laughing. 2 a.m. You woke up because you couldn't move. Then you just found yourself wrapped in a blanket. How I ended up here, you ask yourself, and just go back to your sleep after seeing Aki. But after a second, you open your eyes again. You get up to drink water since your throat is so dry. You're walking half asleep. You didn't even know how you got to the kitchen. After you drink water, you went up again and entered Aki's room. What you don't know, it's Jungkook's room. Meanwhile, Jungkook suddenly woke up when he heard someone twisting the doorknob of his room. He quickly took his gun and pointed at the door, but he also hid it after seeing that it's just you who entered. Why are you here? You didn't answer. You continued to walk and lay on his bed. Yeah, YM, this is not Ari's room. Still no response. Why it's so hot? You said and removed your shirt. And now you are only wearing a thin sleeve dress at this moment. Why you are so fearless? Don't you know that you can perish in what you're doing? We're not kids anymore. Jungo can carry you going back to his sister's room, but he doesn't understand why. He just let you to stay on his side. Few second minutes have been passed. You move again. You are restless. You keep on rolling on the bed, trying to find a better position, while your eyes are still closed. Then you suddenly roll closer to him. That makes his eyes widen when he feels you're hugging him and you lay on top of his thigh. He raises his hands, avoiding to touch you. He freaked out and got scared. He's scared that he might not be able to control himself. He became a cold, heartless person after becoming a mafia. In the world he lives in, he needs to become a tough person because most of the time, the person he encounters are enemies. But now he became weak. He can't even imagine that you would be his only weakness. Before he lost control, he decided to bring you back to Akita's room, but he couldn't believe what happened next. Your hand is slowly slipping down going to his tiny weenie. Mamma mia, why and stop driving me crazy, he whispered and quickly held your hand. However, you just snatched your hand and slipping down again. He stopped it again before reach his cold bra. Jungkook just breathed when you placed your hand on his chest while snuggling your face in his armpit. He thought his ordeal was over 
but it wasn't because you started pinching his nipple. Fine, this is enough, he said angrily. He was about to stand up, but before he could do that, you bite his armpit, causing him to scream and flick your forehead. You walk up when he flip your forehead. You open your eyes and look at the person you are hugging. It lasts a minute before you figure out who he is. Then you smile at him and say, I love you, as he held your collar and picked his lips. Jung Kook so lift his unholy body for a second because of what you did. Nine a.m. in the morning, you and Aki flinch and suddenly wake up after hearing Jung Kook's voice. Yeah, drunken masters, wake up! And who told you to get drunk? I'm not forbidding you to drink, even if you drink all the wine in this storage. As long as you don't get so drunk that you wouldn't know what you're doing. Early in the morning, he's nagging you too. You two get up, holding each hand, confused on how you ended up to that room. He glances at you and says, "Especially you, YN." You look at Akita, then you turn your gaze to him. Me? You said while pointing at yourself. Oh, you, he replied. Why me? What did I do? He knows that you're going to say that. He knows you won't remember anything. He raised his hand, signed of defeated. Nothing. You two get up and freshen up. He approached his twin and helped her to stand up. You also get up when he came and carry you going to the bathroom. Stubborn, he mumbled after he placed you down and leave the room. While having a breakfast, Jungkook was just staring at your lips, watching your every move. Opa, I bet you're going home the next day. He didn't answer. His mind was still floating, recollecting what he had been through from your hand last night. Around 5.30 in the morning, he carried you back to Akita's room, so you wouldn't be surprised how you ended up in his room. Opa! Ah? Huh? I thought you had a mission. It cancelled. When I got home last night, I saw you two in the storage room sleeping on the floor, drunk, so I carried you to your room. Are you sure you carried me or you dragged me? My body is aching. Yeah, I handled you with care. By the way, bestie, is Marco still courting you? Oh, until now, he didn't give up. Jungo filed his brows and being intrigued. Who's Marco? Asked him. The guy likes YN since college. A handsome, have a nice body, a nice personality. You know, bestie, what if I give him a chance? For how many years he's still there for me? Obviously, he is serious. It's up to you. Don't believe him. He will just play with you. What? Excuse me. He's a nice guy. You're about to say something, but your phone buzzed. It's your mom. She called you to tell you to go home because she's going somewhere. I'm sorry, bestie. I need to go home. I will come back next time if Barbie doesn't have her monthly period. Why and shut up? I'm not your Barbie anymore, Jungkook said. Okay, okay, Barbie. Opa, can you ask your man to send her home? Uh, no need, I'm fine. I'll just take a calm. You stood up and hugged Akita. You went to her room and took her stuff and left the mansion without saying anything to Jungkook. You were standing outside the gate trying to book a cab until a car got out of the gate of Jungkook's mansion. The window opened and someone spoke. 
Get in. It's Junko. I'm fine. I gotta come. You answered. You will get in or I will carry you. You are really a short-tempered person. Okay, fine. I will get in. I miss my old party. After a few minutes, you arrive at your place. Thank you, you said and opened the door. Wait. Do you have a boyfriend? No, maybe soon. Then, from now on, I will be your boyfriend and you will be my girlfriend. I will pick you up tomorrow around 2 p.m. for our first date, understand? Huh? Your mind hung up for a second. To make you understand, he pulled you closer to him as he held your chin and kissed you. In a few seconds, he broke the kiss and said, I love you. At the same time, pushing you out of his car, then he drives fast with full of speed. Hmm, like that. What the freak? What was that? You draw yourself in your bed and start to scream while kicking the air out of embarrassment. You couldn't believe that you did such a thing that you can't even imagine that you would do it. But in other hand, it's not bad. It had a good result. You took your phone and dialed Ali's number. It works! Really? Why? What happened? He said he loves me. Starting today, we in our relationship. As you both laugh. All that happened is just an act. You drink, but you are not drunk. You purposely went to his room to tease and test him. If he really hits you, cause Akita find your pictures on his drawer. It means even before you met again, Jungkook was following you. From curiosity if how are you now? until he slowly fall for you. However, he didn't show it. He called in front of you, so when having a drink, you and Aki make a plan to catch your brother. Even Marco, it's all planned to see if he's being jealous. Thank you for watching. Good night, Kubis.